All right, we got a Mountain West matchup up next, Wyoming and Air Force. We've got Air Force 5-point home favorites, 49, actually 48 the total uh, across the board here in this game. I like the, the way it matches up here a little bit here for this uh, Wyoming uh, defense uh, coming into this game. Uh, the, the, I expected Wyoming's run defense to be very good this year, and it hasn't necessarily been great to this point. That's the one thing that does concern me. They, their run defense hasn't performed like I thought. You know, they're giving up 148 yards per rush, 4.4 per carry. It's not terrible numbers, but I definitely expected better. However, Craig Bull, I like him as a coach. The team has a bye week. They're coming off a game against UConn where they barely won 24 to 22. I mean, they're 4 0, but man, they've had some close calls so far this year. Uh, when you look at their first few results, they barely beat Montana State in, the, in their first game. They escaped past Northern Illinois in a wild one. Uh, they do beat up Ball State pretty good, uh, but against UConn, you know, barely winning that game uh, as 31 and a half point favorites. So it does worry you, but I like the bye week, refresh, recharge the batteries, get this team back on a, a better a tangent uh, going into this game. I still think Sean Chambers, veteran quarterback, uh, Zazavian Valaday running the football very well uh, for Wyoming. He's been there now for a couple of years. I like the idea of getting points with Wyoming in this spot. And you look at Air Force, two very impressive wins in a row against Florida Atlantic and New Mexico. Take nothing away from that. But home favorite here now. Uh, and remember, Utah State beat them outright when they were laying points at home uh, a few weeks ago. I think you give this Wyoming team a chance to extra time to prepare for the triple option. You know that's always a benefit and a positive for any team when they have a bye week going into playing a team that runs the triple option. Uh, and that's what Wyoming is going to have here uh, in this game. And Wyoming's dominated the recent series history. You look at Wyoming, uh, they are 9-1 and one against the spread uh, in, their la in the last 10 head-to-head -head meetings the last decade uh, against Air Force. So they have found ways to cover numbers, 10-1 and one ATS the last 11 meetings. They're 5-1 and one ATS the last six meetings here in Colorado Springs at Air Force. 9-3 and three against the spread for the underdog in the last 12 meetings. Uh, so I get it. Air Force has played two terrific football games in a row and give Calhoun credit. I mean, he's always done a good job with this program. They, they're playing good on both sides of the football here. Uh, Hazik Daniels looks like he's running this triple option very well at the quarterback spot, their run game solid, but I, I like the spot here and Wyoming catching points. I'm always interested off the buy extra time to prepare for the triple option. I'm on Wyoming here. Buy low. I think I think that UConn scare really whips this team into shape here for this game. You realize you got away with one. Now the bye week, prepare for this game. I think they have a much better game against the run defensively, and that keeps the minutes. So I like the underdog here, Wyoming. What do you think, Connor Mack? Yeah, this game's a pass for me. I don't know what Wyoming team we're going to get. I mean, you talked about them being 4-0. and I just – you know, I thought they – after – they gave up a shit ton of points in Northern Illinois, 54-3. They come back, you know, beat down Ball State pretty good and then barely beat UConn, who's getting better as the year's going on, but still 24-22. Yep. They're off the bye week. Um, I with you. I lean the points. Air Force has looked pretty good. I think the total's right there. What do you expect? When I see this in years past, this is under. You know, both these teams are going to run it, but the defenses have been leaky, even Air Force giving up all those points. But Wyoming – isn't a team slinging it around like Utah State was. So more running, nothing on the total. This game was just a was a pass for me.